So the axle whacker, if you've never seen one, empty, a lot of places sell it. Just a flat piece of steel with an axle nut cut out. Put her on there, beat the crap out of it with a hammer as you can see I've done this one. Uh, sometimes you can put a breaker bar in there and have a friend hold it to stabilize it. Uh, a lot of times the wheel will try to turn. What I like to do is leave the car on the ground, take the hubcap off, and use the car's weight and the tire to keep the rim from spinning. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can take the wheel off and a lot of times you get a piece of angle iron and bolt it in there and help it keep it from spinning, but it works real good if you don't have a lot of air tool access. Just got to beat the hell out of it. So put your lube of choice on it. I like PB because you can buy it locally. There's a lot of uh, homemade stuff on the internet, WD-40, that sort of thing. Whatever your heart desires. Maybe some uh, Natty Light, we'll throw that on there. There we go. Take the old impact and zap that rusty thing off. The garage sale snap-on wasn't cutting it, so we're switching to the Harbor Freight Earthquake. There you go. Alright, wheels off. Didn't film that. I'm sure you know how to do that. If you don't, you shouldn't be watching this video. So next, spray of choice. I spray through the holes, hoping it'll get somewhere important. She's stuck tight. So let's look at some pullers. You got your Craftsman, Harbor Freight, whatever, two jaw, three draw. They just blow up. If you got nothing else, you can try it, but like this one, you're probably gonna blow it up. I've used this interesting one I bought at a local tool store. It's got the wide five pattern amongst all the other ones. The only thing that sucks is you have to get long bolts because the hub's kind of small to go around the beetle stuff. This is the best one. If you can pay, I mean, it, $100 is worth it. This thing is amazing. So here's the puller on. Three. Uh, you can get them with more. Three's plenty. Uh, stock lug bolts aren't really big enough to go all the way through, so I have these longer ones. I don't remember where I got them. BRMs or maybe a Jetta or something. But they're plenty long enough just to make sure they don't go and hit something. But usually changing all that anyway so it doesn't matter so I'll put this on and we'll uh, zap it off so I got it all zapped on there with the gun uh, important thing to remember on this is make sure your threads are well oiled and make sure you don't have any of the little arms on the spot where they can just fly right off make sure that's not in the way kind of like that now we use the gun and we zap her off no more stuck drum uh, occasionally it'll pull the shoes I've actually broke a wheel cylinder with this before it's a pretty hefty thing just make sure you got that spline centered in the tip of your axle where that little divot is so this side's a little harder let's see what breaks when this one comes off Compressor's charged up again. Broke the wheel cylinder, pretty cool. Another quick note about this puller is if you get it as a set on your eBay or whatever, a lot of times it'll come with this nice dog bone fits on there. It's got the little BB to help hold it in place. Then you can hit it with a hammer if you don't have air, or if your air is not enough. Works really well.